Well, I've got this mostly dismantled 3D printer, which is not what I was hoping would happen when I started what I'm about to explain uh, a couple weeks ago. Anyway, I wanted to get a new 3D printer, and I already have one, but it's a couple years old, and, you know, they've been getting better. The one I picked was this Lulzbot thing. Ooh, see, it's got this. That's the name of it. Um... And I picked it because it had a lot of features that I wanted. It has a heated bed. It can work really fast or slow down, you know, whatever. And it's also one of the RepRap ones. You know, which there's, there's lots of, like, super nerds who aren't part of businesses or... Well, they're part of businesses, some of them. But they're not, like, big companies. They're just, like, super nerds tinkering around, getting these things better and better. So I really wanted to help support that. Plus, those kind of people are going to make the best stuff, right? So... It, also in the reviews, it said they had terrible customer service, which made me a little bit nervous, but I was like, eh. I mean, it's the kind of thing I could build myself anyway, so if I really need to, I can fix whatever. But hopefully I won't have to, because the thing costs like $2,000 almost. And for that much, I want, I, want, I want something that works pretty well. So I go to the website, and it says... Oh, email us to, you know, find out the shipping costs and blah, blah, blah. So I emailed them. They emailed right back, lickety split. I was like, oh, that was pretty good customer service, but they just want my money right now, of course. We'll see what happens later. But anyway, so I talked to the guy. A little bit later, a lady calls me and says, okay, we got your order of stuff. Your, you know, your costs are this. It was like just under $2,000. And I was like, okay, here's my credit card, blah, blah, blah. Great. Okay, bye. A couple hours later, I get a call. And this is kind of annoying, but whatever. And it's the same lady, and she's like, oh, well, it actually costs another $55 or something. So can we get your credit card again? I was like, it's kind of annoying. What am I going to say no now that I've already... Fine, here's, here's my credit card again, another $55, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, it doesn't matter. As long as the thing works, great. Um, so I start getting the parts. They, they came in a couple different shipments, which is fine. Um, and I got the thing, and I printed something out. You know, just kind of a quick test. And it came out pretty good for a first shot, straight out of the thing. You know, it's a little bit rough around the edges, but I can uh, mess with some settings and fix that up. And it comes with, attached, a 0 0.5 millimeter nozzle. And um, it comes, actually, with three nozzles. It comes with this one attached, though. This is 0 0.5, right? So that's what I printed that first thing with. And then I was like, oh, well, let me try using the 0 0.25 millimeter nozzle. You may notice it's a little bit damaged at this point. Um, so I got the I got the 0 0.5 millimeter one off. And it was kind of hard to get off. And I was like, wow, that seems like it's harder to get off than it should be. But whatever, though. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. And then I start screwing this one on, and I got it on partway with my finger, and then it started getting real stiff. And, I mean, I didn't get it on that far, and I was like, what, am I cross-threading it or something? And I pulled it back out, and I, I mean, I've screwed things on enough to know if I'm cross-threading stuff. So I back it up, check it, look in the threads, you know, make sure everything's clean. So I get it on there, and I'm like, wow, it's kind of stiff, but, you know, I'm a strong guy, and I'm, I can get it on most of the way with my fingers. Eh, maybe like halfway. And then I start using the wrenches they give. And I'm like, wow, this is getting like harder and harder by the turn. By the time I got it all the way on, it was like really hard. I was like, what this is, what's going on? All right, whatever. <clears throat> I got it on there and tested a, a print. I printed out a, a ring. Probably can't see it that well. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it has lots of fancy details and stuff. It's an adventure builder ring. Um, and that came out pretty decent. You know, I, I still want to mess with the settings and stuff. I was like, okay, now I want to start printing something for real. So I thought, all right, I need to go back to the 0 0.5 millimeter nozzle because I'm, I'm printing something a little bigger. So I attempt to remove the 0 0.25 millimeter nozzle. That was the, the one I did the, the little ring with, the fine nozzle. Wouldn't come off. I mean, I, I, I budged it, and it was coming off a little bit, and then it just kept getting harder and harder. And I, I mean, I just started rounding the corners. You know when you have a nut? and you're using the wrench, and it's just not moving, you end up whoosh, just like rounding the corners. It's not a hexagon anymore, it's a circle. So 
Then I just grabbed some other pliers, something I could get a good enough grip on. Oh, and this whole time, I'm like going online looking, am I doing something wrong? Am I, what's going on? Because like on the on the little video online, they're just like, oh, you change the nozzles like this. You get the, the, the wrench, and loosen it a bit, and then with your hand, and then take the next one on with your hand, and then tighten a little with the wrench, and no problem. But I'm like, that's that not the experience I'm having. So anyway, I managed to get the thing to where it's just freely spinning, but the, the threads have been so destroyed that it's still not coming off. It's just freely spinning on the bottom of the thing. You know, the nozzle has this, this is not attached anymore because, you know, I've dismantled the entire thing. Anyway, this screws on here. And it was just like, rah. anyway, I managed to get it off. But the, the whole bottom's destroyed at this point. And, uh, you know, I'm looking online, I'm like, what is... Um, there's, there's nothing to indicate that this should have happened. So, I emailed the, the company, you know, just responded to one of the emails that I'd had before, because they were, they were pretty quick. No answer now, it's been several days. You know, it's kind of like, hey, you know, this happened, and I don't think this should be happening. And this thing is destroyed, is there anything you can do for me, you know? I mean, I wasn't going to sit there and wait forever for them to respond, so the next day I just ordered some new parts. I have some new parts here. So, oh, here, let me show you everything I destroyed, by the way. Or at least that was destroyed. So, this screws on the threaded rod. And this is important information for anyone who has one of these and might have the same problem. Um, this screws on here. And this is a threaded rod that goes through this aluminum piece, right? Oh, and this is the other problem. To replace this threaded rod that had been destroyed, and to replace this, well, you just need a new one of these. I have to buy a new one of those. It's like 25 bucks or something. Annoying! Anyway, to replace the threaded rod, you take out a little set screw. Comes out, no problem. That came out easy, no problem. And then remove this threaded rod, and you can see it's been totally destroyed because it will not budge. I mean, at first, I tried to just grab the threads that had been damaged and turn it. I mean, at one point I just got to the point where I was just, I had my biggest, like, vice grips and pliers. I was like, okay, it's already destroyed, but I just want to get this stupid thing out. So I was like cranking, it is just, it's just not coming out. So anyway, now I need a new, this piece too, because that's totally stuck in there. It won't come out at all. Oh, and before I destroyed these threads, I decided to test my other nozzles to see if they even fit on there. And they fit really, really super tight, which is not how it should be. Uh, so, the next day I just ordered the new parts, which have come in the mail. And I'm kind of annoyed that they haven't answered. And I think I'm going to have to chew them out after this, because... Okay, here's, here's my new parts. They got here, right? I got two of these threaded rods, just in case. Um... So the first thing I do is say, okay, my la I think my last threaded rod may have just been too big. Because, I mean, somehow there was some kind of manufacturing error, because these pieces were not fitting correctly. Um, and, I, you know, I've dealt with machined parts before. Anyway, so I'm like, all right, let's see if this fits. Oh, that fits beautifully. Look at that. goes right through, no problem. Oh, that's so excellent. Oh, so nice. Whew. You know, even if there's a set screw in there that damages the threads a bit, I'm pretty sure I could get this out without too much problem. So next thing, I'm like, okay, I need to make sure this nozzle fits on here. Oh, beautiful. Goes all the way in, no problem. I mean, it's loose. It, it's, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not too snug or anything. It fits great. I can do it with my fingers all the way in and out, no problem. Both ends. Both directions. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll, I mean, this is, this is not what I had the first time. So I decide to take the original 0 0.35 nozzle that I got with the machine. Wait, that's not it. Wait a minute. Yeah, so this is one of the original nozzles I got with the machine that I've not used. I haven't, I mean, I hadn't even touched it until just now. And I go to check if it fits on here, and it does not fit. I mean, it's not cross-threaded. 
Um, I mean, it's, it's threading right, it's just too tight. It just does not fit. So now, I'm like, okay, there is clearly a manufacturing defect, and I need the company to do something about this, because that's, I mean, it's like, it's not like a pack of bubble gum I bought. This is like a $2,000 thing. Um, this is not really acceptable that you spend in another fifty, sixty dollars on parts that I've already that I already bought once. I just bought them, you know. And now I'm gonna need I'm gonna need all three new nozzles because none of the original nozzles fit on this stuff. And this is the original 0.5 millimeter nozzle. It doesn't fit either. Anyway, this is really frustrating. So I guess I'm gonna have to give them a call and see what happens next. Because, I mean, the machine is pretty good. It's just... If the pieces are not fitting right, I mean, it's, it's useless. You know, I've had this thing for a week and it's been sitting here taken apart. And I had to, you know, cut all kinds of wires to get everything apart because all the, the pieces that the wires go through were broken and stuff. Like, the wire, you know, there's pe electrical pieces that go through here they had to cut. Anyway, it's, it's just really frustrating. I, I, I feel like, why didn't I just build this myself? So, I'm going to try calling the company. See if I can get them to reimburse me for these pieces I just bought. And send me some nozzles that fit. Because that would be really nice.